Well, hello and welcome to this short navigation video on Canvas, your primary learning management system. My name is Robert Day from the Director of Seminary Admissions, and it'll be my pleasure to uh, share a screen with you and kind of walk you through um, uh, walk you through Canvas. So here we go. Uh, you should be seeing the screen right now. Um, so, so the other day we talked about how to navigate the portal. And I just wanted to show you really how to get to Canvas, or at least one of the easy ways to get to Canvas. You'll probably save it as a favorites at some point and just be able to click it. But if you need to get to the portal, you can just type in Grace College and Seminary Portal Login. It'll bring you to this page, and then you can kind of click through. I've already logged in, but normally it'd give you a, an opportunity to put your username and password there. But the reason I bring you here is because there's a link to the Canvas LMS right here. And so just wanted to show you how to get there from here. And now what we'll do is just kind of do a quick walkthrough of navigating through Canvas. And what I'm going to do is I'll show you using a course that that you guys will take eventually Old Testament survey. And so a couple of things about the Canvas homepage, your dash, dashboard will always take you to any courses that you have upcoming or that you're currently in. So you can always go to your dashboard to kind of find out where you're at. Another thing that's helpful is the courses list. So the courses list will have all courses, not only that, you're, you have that you are in, but that you have taken in the past. So you can always go back and look. Another point of interest is the calendar. And so what you'll find with the calendar is that if you just click the calendar, you can see anything that's upcoming. And so you'll notice that for the Old Testament course that we're going to be looking at shortly, I just click my calendar button and it tells me that there are several things coming due um, even uh, in the coming days. Um, so, so there you go. Let me also bring it you to your inbox. You'll notice mine's empty. Um, but if you had started conversations in here or had gotten emails from your professor for the class, they would be in here. And so let's go back to our dashboard. Let's select the class that we're in, Old Testament survey. And then what I want to do is do a student view that just so that you, you know, we're seeing the exact same things. And so if you go to the home page, you'll notice that it looks very much like a syllabus. It has the course title, uh, all the information about the course, the professor, and then it also has course material. So I get this question a lot, what, what books am I gonna use? Well, your syllabus will cover that. You can also go to the campus bookstore to figure that out, but also right here on the Canvas page, it should have that information that you need. And so this, uh, this home page is very much like a syllabus. Again, it has, um, a course description, it has learning outcomes, and then it has a really neat feature, at least I think anyway, of a, uh, a course summary. And so the course summary is gonna show you all the assignments that are gonna be coming due um, for, for the class. So your homepage will be important. Um, you could, from this page, go to that course calendar that I mentioned. You could also view notifications and view your course stream. Your course stream is going to look very much like this. It's going to show you the things that are coming due or that are due. And so you could get to all those from there. Um, I did want to point out a couple of things while we're on this page. All the policies that, that are in almost every syllabus will be here. So for instance, if you want to know, well, I'm, I'm going to be a little bit late on this assignment. Is there a penalty? Well, go ahead and click that late work and you'll see. Um, if, if you need the library guide, if you need writing lab, if you need the bookstore, all those things are available at a click. And we've also put a Turabian guide under the resources. And so all those will just help you um, kind of um, navigate through seminary. Another page that I want to show you is modules. This is really um, probably a very important place that you'll want to hang out regularly because this will have your week by week assignments and things that are due. So for instance, week one of this class, um, it'll have whatever reading is due this week. So I could just click this and see what I have to read. Um, I could also, let me go back here. Uh, it'll also have anything that's due. So here are all the lectures that are part of this. And then here are the learning activities that are due this week. And so notice that if you were in this class, during the first week, you would have had to have taken the quiz by May 21st, done an article review by May 22nd, 
And then the article for review is right here. So all that stuff is at your fingertips and it just marches through week by week by week. And so that's gonna be important for you um, to kind of just see the flow of the class. And again, each week, make sure that you're checking this. Additionally, at the beginning of the modules page, it should have some information for you. So for instance, I mentioned a Turabian writing guide. Um, there's a Turabian writing guide that Dr. Tiberius Ratza posted in here for you. There's the syllabus that's in here. Um, there's a sample research paper that you can look at for formatting purposes only, but nevertheless, these are all helpful things that Dr. Ratza put in here to help you get through this course successfully. Um, he also put some recommended commentaries. I just wanna open the syllabus so that we can kind of go over that together and just give you some, uh, some hints on how to properly navigate a syllabus. So, so one of the things that you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you do when you go through your syllabus is look at the instructions for each assignment. So the position papers, they're worth 40% of the grade. You'll wanna make sure you go over this really carefully. Same with your um, article reviews, you're gonna to have to do those. They'll be 20% of your grade. And he gives a pretty comprehensive description of how you're gonna do that. The syllabus will also have how your final grade is gonna be uh, calculated. And so you'll notice at least for this class that the quizzes will count for 40%, your position papers, another 40%, and then your article reviews um, for uh, 20%. And then here's the grading scale. The other thing that it will have in the syllabus, we've already talked about the writing lab, but you'll be able to link to the writing lab from inside the syllabus as well. There should be rubrics in here that you can see exactly how you're gonna be scored for your stuff. And so there's the syllabus. Um, okay, uh, the other thing you can do at any point is kind of check your grades and see how you're doing. Um, you can see in this class that I'm just not really doing that well. In fact, I've got 0% in an F grade, but the good news is I'm not actually in this course, I'm ghosting it so that I can show it to you. But you would see that your, you know, your score for all the assignments would be in here and would be updated. And it would keep your posted kind of how you're doing right now based on what has been um, asked of you. So, so you'd have a kind of a running grade right here and then you could print your grades from here. And so really that, that's, that's kind of, um, let me get out a uh, big student view. Yeah, so really that's uh, navigating Canvas. Uh, Canvas, as you can see, it's, it's very user-friendly. It's very intuitive. It's almost just kind of a click and go. You click and you um, kind of march through the different things that are there for you. And so if you have any questions on Canvas, you can always reach out to me. My contact information is on the new student orientation homepage. And that will conclude this video. So I want to just uh, bless you guys and hope that you um, have a smooth entry into seminary. Goodbye.